Okay guys, now we're ready to start talking about applying the acrylic painting techniques that we practiced on sketchbook page six to our final projects. So there are a lot um, of different painting techniques. You just need to make sure that you use three in your project. And I'm just gonna tell you that you will do it without even thinking, okay? so don't stress about it it's something you're gonna do you mix colors all the time and when you mix colors you do things like make a tint when you add white you do things like make a shade where you add black you're probably gonna do those without even thinking you're gonna use your flax flat stroke without even thinking you're gonna use the tip of your brush without even thinking so that was just a way to think about the different techniques that we use you're probably gonna blend colors together so once again you need to use at least three techniques. Don't stress about it though, because you're probably gonna do it without even thinking. So let's take a look at this Nemo project again. You are painting the inside part of your frame. Wherever it stops, you have to stop there and that's where you use your Sharpie. Now, the octopus is a great example, okay? They stopped, they use Sharpie, they stopped, they use Sharpie. Not a good example on Nemo, not a good example on Dory, okay? The head should have stopped right here, the tail should have stopped right here. Everything else though, they stopped exactly where they got to the frame and they, um, and then they used their Sharpie technique, all right? So you are going to paint everything in the inside of the frame, everything. You're not gonna have any blank paper. Why? Because we want it to look different than the outside frame where you have a ton of blank paper. So if you're complaining and say you're doing a polar bear and well, there's snow, you need to paint it white, okay? There needs to be a difference between the paint and the outside frame of your paper, all right? Um, so when you're painting, you're gonna be thinking about a lot of things. Where do I need to mix colors? Um, I, ha I only have so many colors I can give you, so obviously you're gonna have to mix colors to make new ones. Um, where can I maybe do things like different painting techniques like stippling like they did on this coral? Um, let's find another example here. Um, so she's doing these cat toys. So she used the, bright dry, the dry brush technique on these cat feathers right here um, so that they kind of had that feathery look. So she used the dry brush technique here to give it that um, kind of feathery dry feeling you just need to be aware um, of the different techniques you're using at the end so if I can't really tell when I'm grading your project then I can go back and look all right it's going to be super important how clean you paint um, you will have two different sizes of paintbrushes that you'll be able to use those are the only two paintbrushes you're going to get you are responsible for those paintbrushes the entire project so once Mr. O hands you your two paintbrushes if you lose them you're out of luck. And if you don't take care of them, you're out of luck. So what I mean by not taking care of them is, did you push really hard one day on your paintbrush and now the bristles are all messed up? Well, you need to take better care of it. Or did you not wash it out correctly the day before? Now it's full of dry paint and now it won't work. Well, once again, you need to take care of it, okay? So you're gonna get one really tiny paintbrush and you're gonna get one kind of normal paintbrush and those are the two paintbrushes you will have. Those will stay in your bin until the completion of the project, so the whole time. The way paint is going to work. So in the past, normally what we would do is I would set out paint, you guys would just come get what you want and all that stuff. Well, with COVID, obviously we can't do that. So um, Mr. O is going to sit at the table at the front of the room, the round table. There's going to be a big bin of paint. You will just come up to him and tell him what colors you need. You can get four colors at a time. He will give you some paint, you'll go work. If you need more, you'll just come back and he'll give you more, okay? Um, at the end of class, you can just throw your paint plate away. You need to wash your brush out really well. There are little scrubbers at the bottom of the sink that will really help. So just scrub it until your brush is clear. It also helps to use soap. And you also um, will need a water cup. The water cups are always in the same place. They're underneath the middle sink in the classroom. Remember though, you have to actually clean the water cups when you're done. So by cleaning, I just mean you need to rinse them out with water. Don't just dump them out and then leave nasty, gunky paint residue at the bottom, okay? We gotta take care of things so that we can 
use them um, over and over again. All right, so um, you are going to have a until Thanksgiving break to finish this project. You have a long time. Take your time, make it look neat. If you forgot how to do any of the um, Sharpie techniques or you forgot any of these directions, all of these videos are gonna be posted in your Google Classroom and Mr. O can help you with any questions you might have.